Hello everyone, this is Plain Dude 777 and welcome back to another video. This is a special edition called Flying During COVID, a Malindo Air Flight, an economy class from Penang to Subang. Due to the pandemic, it has been a while since I flew on a plane, but now that we are here, let us go on a journey to discover what flying looks like during the age of COVID. This video may be less of a flight review and more of an experiential journey. In Malaysia, you have to scan a QR code that will track your location in order to improve contact tracing and you also have to scan your temperature here. As you can see, the entire airport is pretty much empty. There aren't many passengers around and all of the checking kiosks are also pretty much empty. Lucky us, we managed to get only one of the two flights flying out of Penang today, with both of them going to Subang. The other one seems to be Firefly, but for now, we'll focus in on Melindo. Melindo's check-in area is located at this small corner of the airport. It looks like it's the only kiosk here that actually has people. Oh look, it's Starlux Airlines. I wonder how the Taiwanese airline is doing right now. We will be flying today in economy since the ATR has no business class. Also, no durians allowed on the aircraft, as always. Once again, it's just super weird to see an operational airport empty like this. It's almost like a ghost town here. Here's our ticket. Let's head on over to the gate. A new rule in Malaysia states that people have to go to this PDRM counter to get their documents checked before flying especially for interstate travel in Malaysia. You have to fill it out before you get to the airport, and luckily enough, mine was approved. Even the McDonald's here is empty. Well, to be fair, they were closed for renovation. But then again, considering it's the pandemic, I wouldn't be surprised if they closed operations for a while. Here's the domestic departure gate. And here is the very small and very empty security checkpoint. As you can see, almost all of the shops beyond the checkpoint are closed. Well, looks like our gate is open. I would be a little worried if it wasn't. I remember when this walkway used to be filled with many passengers. Well, at least the Travis Hego here is open. Not that it would matter that much at this point. At first, I thought that Air Asia might have had some delayed flights or something, but I realized that these weren't going to fly anytime soon, so they're just storing them here at Penang. Jeez, more closed shops and empty seats. Not exactly the best sight for an airport. Let's have a closer look at Air Asia's airbuses here. Not that there is anything better to do considering all of the shops are closed. As you can see, there is some orange tarp over their engines, signaling that they are here for storage. The domestic terminal of Penang Airport isn't huge, but it can feel a little long. And there's a gate over there in the distance, B5. In between, there should be some open shops and the restrooms, but, well, they're not open. At our gate, we can finally see some other passengers eagerly waiting for their flight. At least something like this brings back a little bit of what an airport feeling should be. Ah, it's a shame that Dunkin Donuts is closed. I just happen to be craving donuts at this time. Here's a look at Penang Airport from this angle. Note the uh, Tom Brady fan on the bottom left. They're pretty rare here in Penang. Weirdly enough, they also gave us a survey to do, and since I didn't have anything else to do, I decided to give it a go. For completing the survey, I got a nice pen out of it. There's our plane, the Melindo Air ATR-72. Here is the plane taxiing in. This is gonna be a longer clip, so it'll take some time. Do skip ahead if you want to.
now the passengers are disembarking and you can also see a nice little A330 Air Hong Kong in the background and it's already gone see you later well it's finally time for us to board now as you can see we won't be using the gate per se rather we have to walk down there just like the lady you see and walk to the plane itself all right then here we go it might get a little loud so i recommend uh covering your ears if you will i'll speed this part up just a bit Whew, we finally made it to the end. Let's head on outside. Over there are the Air Asia planes that we saw earlier. Here is the ATR-72 up close. For boarding, let's head on in through the back. The ATR-72 is configured in a 2x2 two two configuration. Now, this is a small plane, and for a configuration like this, it is a pretty tight spot for me. Here is the aircraft safety card for your perusal if you wish to have a look at it. Now, as I have stated before, this configuration is pretty tight since the plane is pretty small. And as you can see, the leg space is not exactly the most ideal. Luckily for me, there is no one seated next to me, so I get to have a little bit of extra space. It looks like the flight is just about half full, which isn't too bad considering the circumstances. Well, anyway, it's time to take off, so do enjoy the following takeoff clip as well as the Penang sunset in the background. Right here is the tray table, nothing too spectacular, uh, well yeah, that's pretty much about it for that. Due to the short flight and current circumstances, Melinda Air doesn't offer any beverages or snacks during this flight, so I'll just lie down and get comfy. There is a reason as to why I missed flying so much during the pandemic, it's because of scenes just like these.
overall this flight is pretty uneventful and boring so let's skip on ahead soon the cabin lights were dimmed for landing which makes for some pretty cool shots it's gonna get dark as we approach subang kl so enjoy this dark landing clip Jeez, that might have been the roughest landing that I have ever been in on a commercial flight. This isn't exactly a good look for you, Melindo. Anyways, as we taxi into Subang Airport, you can see the other Melindo ATRs, along with a completely blank one that we taxi right next to. And as you can see, there are no real plane gates, so to say. So we have to just walk into the airport. Alright, time to get off this plane. What I don't like about Subang is that you have to walk right next to the planes and their engines are really loud as you can see. After a rather lengthy walk, we finally reach the domestic entrance to Subang airport. This is what the airport looks like just as you get inside it. The baggage claim is also right by the entrance, so there's no need for a long walk. Well, we've officially entered Subang Sky Park, and as you can see here, I'm very tempted to get a grab car. As you can see, Subang Airport is also pretty empty, although it makes more sense a little since it's already nighttime here. Huh. It looks like that Subang has had a couple more flights today than Penang had. Lucky them. That's the end of our journey. Looks like Melinda Air will get a 5 out of 10 for their lack of service, small seats, and a very very rough landing. Still, the rest of the flight was pretty okay, so they get a mediocre rating. Thank you so much for watching this Plane Dude 777 video, and please remember to like and subscribe.